What's going on everyone? It is the Mouth from the South and it's WrestleMania season! Ignore my last WWE video where I said I'm cancelling the network because Oldberg beat The Fiend. I'm still pissed about it, but it's WrestleMania. I've been watching WrestleMania since I was like six. Fuck off, basically. So, WrestleMania 36. It's still going ahead, despite a lot of people saying it shouldn't. Hey ho, we're here. I'm here for it. Too big for one event. Too big for one event. Mainly because half of it is a Raw show. But, with that said, I have made some predictions for the biggest, the longest, and the most Raw house show, Wrestlemania, of all time. And I've made my predictions using traditional pen and paper because technology fails me continuously. So to start off we have John Morrison and The Miz versus The Usos versus The New Day for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships and for these predictions I just want to say uh, straight off the bat I'm going with my heart. I'm not going to be overthinking this too much and not going to be going oh but WWE might do this or they might try and swerve us here fuck that I'm gonna just be straight up and just go here's who I want to win that's my prediction okay so with this match I basically see it going Usos and New Day just absolutely hammering the living shit out of each other and the Usos trying to like equal the New Day's record because the New Day have one more tag team championship reign than the Usos do. And it's going to be those two trying to like outdo each other and they're destined to do this forever, blah, 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 blah. And the Miz and Morrison will sneak a victory. And that's what's going to happen. Miz and Morrison for the win. Next up, we have Otis and that shit prick of a motherfucker that is Ziggle Piggle Puddle Puffs and that is Dolph Ziggler and fuck you WWE if you don't let Otis get this dub and get the woman let the man get the win and let the man see the mandy it it has to happen it has to ha has to be Otis like has to be next up we have the Kabuki Warriors versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, Alexa Bliss being my favourite, 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 favourite female wrestler of all time. Don't at me. And I see this going in favour of Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, mainly because they're absolutely phenomenal together. The Kabuki Warriors haven't done much with the Women's Tag Team Championships. And also, I see Asuka turning uh, completely... On Kyrie Sane. Next match we have a Raw match. We have the Street Profits versus Austin Theory and Andrade Cien Almas for the Raw Tag Team Championships. And is it Street Profits win. I'm not going to dwell too much on this one. Quite simple. There you go. Next, Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan, the Battle of the Indie Kids. For the Intercontinental Championship, the workhorse belt is going to have some work. Whoo! Oh, just give them 20 minutes, half hour, and just let them go. It will be fan-fucking-tastic, I promise. It will be brilliant. And that's all that needs to be said. And Sami Zayn is going to come away with the win. And then we'll probably see Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn versus Cesaro, Daniel Bryan versus, you know, and we'll just get like those four indie darlings just non-stop going for it. And it will be fucking fabulous. Next up, we have Elias versus the world's most famous Weatherspoons manager, Big Boy Belly B Corbs. Baron Corbin, King Corbin, and Elias is going to win because Elias has a gorgeous beard and wonderful hair 
and the Spoons manager that is Baron Corbin, he needs to fuck off. Just please go away. Next up, we have Alistair Black versus Bobby Lashley. This is WrestleMania, right? Alistair Black. It, how could it not go to Alistair Black? It, ha, it has to be Black. It has to be Black. Alistair Black. Next up, we have KO Kevin Owens versus the Monday Night Messiah, Sethi Poo. Woo! KO's going to get his WrestleMania moment. This is going to be an absolutely amazing match. It's going to be brutal. We can lean into the whole NXT thing. It's going to be brilliant. And I, I want this match done at the Performance Center. Because of the history surrounding the two. Ah, It's just so good to think about. That is a WrestleMania match. Alistair Black versus Bobby Lashley is not. Next up we have Bailey versus Naomi versus Lacey Evans versus Sasha Banks versus Tamina. So um this one I see a uh, Bailey retention it's obviously for the SmackDown Women's Championship of the World and it's a Bailey retention we're gonna get uh, a build up of Sasha versus Bailey and I think we're gonna get a Bailey versus Sasha storyline but with the roles reversed so like Sasha can have the opportunity to take advantage of Bailey, she doesn't take it, and then Bailey's just like, "Fuck you, kid! I'll take the opportunity," and that's what. I'm, why am I still holding this thing? And that's what we will see there. So Bailey retention. Next up, we have, woo, the female version of Chris Motionless, Rhea Ripley versus I already wooed, woo, Charlotte motherfucking Flair, and um. My girlfriend would kill me if I picked Charlotte Flair. So, we're going with Rhea Ripley. Simply because I feel like it has to happen. Charlotte didn't need to win the Rumble. She doesn't need to win this match either. And if she does, it's going to feel like the Roman Reigns treatment all over again. But this time with Charlotte... Uh, give us something else, please, WWE. Let the alternative punky metal person win a fucking match. As I say that, CM Punk pops up. But please, please. Also, oh no, you can't. It would have been so cool to have actually seen Ash Costello perform live for her. That would have been awesome. Ne uh, NXT Wim uh, Women's Championship, obviously. Um, yeah. Rhea retention. Next up, we have the man, Becky Lynch. That was the worst Irish accent you've ever heard, and I can do a much better one. So, the man, Becky Lynch. Versus the Queen of Spades, Shayna motherfucking Baszler. And uh, this is Rhea Ripley's uh, intro line in her entrance theme is, This is my brutality. Woo! This is going to be Shayna's brutality. There is only one way I see this match going, and that is Shayna beating the living piss out of Becky Lynch, and then we can set up a Shayna versus Ronda storyline, unless they're going to swerve us, and they go, um, Ronda comes in and basically costs Shayna the match because she doesn't deserve to be champion because of the shenanigans at last year's Mania. Either way, Shayna Baszler for the win. Next up, we have... Ooh. Ooh. We've got Rattlesnake Jake versus... You think you know him. You do know him. You love him. The rated R superstar, Edge, in the last man standing match. Oh, mama. This is going to be brutal, it's going to be hard hitting, It's you can have some great storytelling here with the no audience, like really turn up the ring mics and hear like 
Edge pleading with Orton, like asking, like asking him why, and Orton just beating the piss out of him, and Edge beating the piss out of him, and it's gonna be a fucking phenomenal, and ah, it's gonna be amazing, and Edge has to win. Simple as. Next up, we have Bork Laser versus Diddyu McIntyre, and it's such a shame. Because this is going to be Drew's big moment. And there's going to be no one around. There's going to be a lot of big moments. And like Superstars Mania moments aren't going to be proper Mania moments. Because there's no one there to cheer them on. And it's so, so sad. WWE, why could you not hold this off? But, you know, I also understand that why you haven't. So, shut. I need to shut the fuck up and just tell you who I think's winning. I think it's Drew McIntyre, and I think he should claim or kick Lesnar, and the match should be done in five seconds. Payback for Kofi, you big sweaty lobster. I wouldn't say that to his face. He would squash me with his thumb. Next up, we have The Fiend versus... Ba -ba -da -ba! John Cena. Big match, John. Oh, I feel like they're going to swerve us and they're going to have John Cena win, but I don't want that. I, I feel like Vince... Vince doesn't get the Fiend anymore and he's fed up of it. Which is why he had him lose to Oldberg. Which I still haven't forgiven you, WWE, for that. That was fucking terrible. <sighs> it's a Firefly Funhouse match. I think Cena's going to win, but I said I'm going with my heart. The Fiend is my prediction. I know that's contradictive, but The Fiend is who I'm going with. Next up, we have The Big Dog. To totally steal Ross Twiddell's thing. Burn him, burn him, burn him. Beat up old men. We're going to have Roman Reigns versus Oldberg. And Oldberg needs to fuck off. Like, you retired. You're in the Hall of Fame. You've got your millions and your paydays. You had the awful match with The Undertaker. You, you should have quit at Mania 34. Why are you still here? And why the fuck are you Universal Champion? Fuck off, Bill! Roman Reigns is going to win. And it's going to be the only time you'll be able to get Roman Reigns cheered at WrestleMania. Yay! And finally, we have The Undertaker! That was more Vince McMahon. We're going to have The Undertaker versus The Phenomenal, Don't Want None, AJ Styles in a Boneyard match. Whatever the fuck a Boneyard match is, maybe they're in just someone's back garden with a load of bones and they're just hitting each other and that's the match and then Roman Reigns comes in and spears them both and goes this is my yard now and he chews on a bone because he's the big dog the biggest of dogs woof this match it's not had the best of fields Considering it's Undertaker versus AJ Styles as a fucking dream match of unholy proportions. But, <sighs> Biker Taker as well. <sighs> I'm going with AJ Styles. I'm going with AJ Styles. Undertaker should give up and retire and he should give the last rub he can. He's given the rub to Brock Lesnar. He's given the rub to Roman Reigns. Two superstars who didn't really need it. To be honest, AJ Styles doesn't really need it. Everyone knows how good AJ Styles is. But like, if you look at the calibre, like, AJ Styles, like, in terms of a wrestler, AJ Styles... Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. You know what I mean? So, like, give the rub to a good fucking wrestler. Go out on your back. Would Mr. WWE go out to Mr. TNA, though? Hmm. Doubtful, but oh well. That's my pick. I am picking AJ Styles to beat The Undertaker and take the streak to... Oh, fuck the streak. The streak doesn't matter. They never should have ended the streak. Anyways, but... 
those are my predictions for WWE WrestleMania 36 2020. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, also let me know what your predictions are down below. And if I missed any matches out or if anything's changed last minute.com, then uh, uh, everything's going to change last minute.com, isn't it? Oh, no! Roman Reigns versus Oldberg. I have Braun Strowman. Trust me. I have Braun Strowman. Bye.